Hi, I'm Kim Adamski, HIV Prevention Specialist at the Hartford Gay and Lesbian Health Collective, with a special Election Day video for you. Are you experiencing anxiety because of today's elections? That kind of anxiety is really common, especially this year with such a contentious election and in the middle of a pandemic, no less. It's really easy to get lost in worries, but of course, worrying will not affect the results. Listen on for some tips on reducing your election stress. First, make sure you've done the most important thing, vote. That's the best way to affect the results of the election. After you voted, try to relax. Reduce your media consumption to a bare minimum. And on a similar note, try to avoid discussions about the election. You're probably not going to change anyone's mind at this point, especially after they've already voted. You'll just stress yourself out, particularly if that kind of talk creates conflict. When we feel attacked, either by media we read or by others we disagree with, our brains go into defensive mode, which creates stress. This stress can sometimes be good, but too much of it can hurt us mentally. As important as this election is, and it is, so I'm not minimizing that, remember that no matter what happens, life will go on. You'll still be here living life on November 4th, Leave worrying about what might happen for another day, at least temporarily. If you find yourself falling into a state of anxiety, take a deep breath and focus on something that relaxes you. Maybe you like to read, do yoga, play a video game, bake, whatever it is that distracts you from worrying, refocus your attention into that for today. Worrying on a day as important as election day is understandable and normal, but it's important to recognize that at this point in the game, worrying will not help anything, and it's more likely to hurt us. Save the anxiety for a time when you can channel it into making a change through volunteering or advocating. For today, take it easy. For more info, I've linked the Cleveland Clinic article I used as a source in the video description. And even though today is a stressful one, remember, be well and be yourself.